Hi boys and girls. We are going to make a project today about the letter Q. The Q says qu, qu. A couple of things that I think of first is queen and quilt. So Miss Thompson loves a nice warm snuggly quilt and we all would like to be the queen sometimes and boys you would like to be the king so we'll call it quilted day for queens and kings. So you need a few supplies. You need a white sheet of paper, a blue sheet of paper, and some scrap paper. And you're gonna take that scrap paper and you're gonna cut it up in little squares like these. And then you'll have a bunch of different colors. You can pick any color you want. These are just some scraps that Miss Thompson had. Then you're gonna need some glue and then you're gonna need to ask mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or aunt and uncle or babysitter, whoever you're doing our Q project with, if you can have some tin foil. So you'll need a little sheet of tin foil. So first you're gonna take your main sheet and you're going to draw out the letter Q. And after you draw out the letter Q, you're going to cut it out. And then you're going to have the letter Q cut out. After you cut your letter Q out, you are going to take your little pieces of scrap and you're going to quilt it. And then we're going to make a crown for our Q to make it a queen. Okay, so we're gonna take and make a crown to make it a queen, the Q queen. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to, how Miss Thompson made hers. You can do it any way you want. Tin foil, squeeze this together. Whoops, that piece broke off. I was actually gonna show you how I put it on. That's why I didn't put this one on. So you're going to take some tin foil and you're going to put it out in some little strips like this. That's what Miss Thompson did. Then I got one big piece and I folded it up real small, kind of like so. And then I took my smaller pieces and I took one end and I wrapped it around so that it stuck up and then I bent it over and then I took the other end and I wrapped it around so that it stood up like so. So I'll do one more. I'm gonna wrap one end around so that it stays on. And then you just take the other end and you pinch it in or wrap it back around. And then once you get it wrapped, you can make them pointy so that you have a little crown like that. Then once you get all of your crown made for your queen, you can go ahead and put it on there. Oops, Miss Thompson put her extra piece on the one we just made. So after you have all of your pieces on and you put your crown on, you can hang your queue up because now you have a queen queue that is a quilt as well. Miss Thompson's gonna put her piece back on that fell off when we got started. And here is our crown. You might have to get some tape to tape your crown on your Q. So enjoy your Q craft and make your Q a crown to make it a queen. If you wanted, you could even take your crown and make it bigger and put it on a hat. Or if your mom or your grandma or grandpa or aunts and uncles say that you can have a big piece, you could take a big piece of tin foil go all the way around your hair. Miss Thompson's not gonna do her whole head, I'll just do my, my bun. And you could put the crown in your own hair and you could be the queen for the day. So I hope you enjoy Q with Miss Thompson and remember that Q says qua.